Merci d'accueillir très très fort et très chaleureusement le co-créateur de la série et scénariste en chef, Monsieur Julian Jones. Thank you, Julian. intrépide et courageux. Il est pour l'instant le prince de Camelot. Tout le monde sait qu'il deviendra normalement un jour le fameux, le très légendaire roi Arthur, Monsieur Bradley James. Et enfin, bien sûr, la série ne porterait pas ce titre s'il n'était pas là. Hein Il est pour l'instant... Euh, on va dire un peu l'homme à tout faire, mais aussi, même s'il ne l'avouera pas vraiment, l'ami, le confident d'Arthur. Euh, merci de faire, alors là, pour le coup, un triomphe à Merlin en personne. Colin Morgan Quel était donc votre meilleur souvenir du Comic Con l'année passée et pourquoi être revenu Because everyone was so unbelievably lovely. I have yet to meet a bad fan of this show. I don't know what it is about Merlin, but the people who love it, the people who watch it are en masse without a doubt the nicest group of people ever. And when you guys ask for something, we try to do it as much as we can. So, plus who doesn't want to go to Paris for the day Come on. On ne va pas trop en dévoiler, hein, bien sûr, ni sur la fin de la saison 3, ni encore moins sur la saison 4. Mais elle, elle devient quand même de plus en plus sombre, notamment à, à travers le personnage de Morgane, qui est peut-être celle qui connaît la, la plus grosse euh, évolution. Euh, Est-ce que c'est un, une évolution que vous avez anticipée dès le départ ou pas Oui, je pense que quand nous avons commencé, nous savions le potentiel pour le show de se faire plus Uh, Morgana's uh, character, many of you will know the legend, um, but we wanted to start in a, in a, uh, a brighter, uh, more magical and uh, fun world. So we started the characters there. When you first meet them, they're quite young, but we wanted room for them to grow. So I think all the characters go on, a, on a, quite a big arc. Merlin has to come to terms with uh, his magic. When he uh, first arrives in Camelot, he, he thinks he's a bit of a freak. He thinks he's very, very strange. And then he learns his destiny. Um, and Arthur, too, is a, he's a bit of a playboy king, or prince, rather, at the time. And he's enjoying life. And uh, he begins to realize what he has to uh, confront. And as we move towards series three, Yes, the world gets darker, and I think that's what we'd anticipated. Um, I think that we, we wanted to make sure that the show continued to grow. Bradley et Colin, euh, Bradley. donc merci d'être avec nous. Juste une chose, est-ce que vous pensez que, à partir du moment où vous en êtes depuis le début et l'évolution de la série, on peut dire que la légende se met en marche uh, Hi <laughs> Uh, the the legend progressing. Um, what can I say about that? I I when we started filming the show, how many people speak English in this audience? By the way, wow! See? Uh, wow! I'm very impressed. If this was in England and you asked them how many people spoke French, they'd they'd hide. I would be hiding too. Yeah, that's true too. Um, but thank you so much for learning our language because we're very bad at languages. Um, and we're also not as good at Comic Cons. This Comic Con is much better than the one in England. So well done, well done. Um, there was a question, wasn't there? Uh, here, here, the legend. Oh, it's written down. We have a crib sheet, a cheat sheet here. Ah, there we are. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to simplify it. Uh, we're currently filming season four and I, I'm having the most enjoyable time uh, on the show that I've had. Nice ears. <laughs> I like them. 
Um, I'm having the most enjoyable time I've had filming the show on season four. And um, once you get through season three, which is very good, you've got season four to look forward to, which is going to be even better. And um, we very much encroach, we start to encroach upon the legends that people are more familiar with. Um, yeah, I, th I think as, as the show um, progresses and, and, and goes on, we're seeing, you're seeing the characters move more into those places that were set out for them in Legends that we know. And, um, and yeah, it's, it, 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 it's, it's a progressive journey that we knew the characters were going to take, and now they're taking the place in, in history and in the show. Alors justement, vos, vos deux personnages sont vraiment, constituent le cœur de la série, la relation entre Merlin et, et Arthur. Euh, tient presque de la, de la fraternité de plus en plus. Comment est-ce que vous avez travaillé pour créer ce lien en tant que comédien Existe-t-il euh, existe à ce point dans la, dans la vraie vie Quand nous avons commencé le show, nous avons eu un chat sur le fait que nous pensions que la relation entre Arthur et Merlin serait assez uh, important pour lui. Et j'ai dit à Colin que je vais le bully un peu. Il a accepté ça. Uh, very well. So for, nice. for quite a while he had to put up with me bullying him, which um, sort of helped us when we got on set and started filming scenes. Um, and from that, I think we sort of grew out of that. You can only bully someone for so long before the police you know, get they, involved. they take it really well. And, um, and you, you know, you start, to, you start to become friends with the guy. And, and Arthur very much has found himself in that situation with Merlin. They've been through a lot together, and um, they've, they've always been there for each other, bizarrely, uh, through, I don't know, this strange, this strange kind of, the bond that they have between each other. And um, it's just, you know, it's built and it's grown as, as time's gone on. Yeah, I, th I think um, you enter now into a fourth series that you can't, you can't help but, but know a work ethic and a work relationship with, with, with people and that's, uh, you know, especially Bradley who I have lots of scenes with and, and Richard who I have lots of scenes with and you find a way of working and you find a way of, of um, uh, I, I guess the relationship naturally develops. It's there in the script as, you know, as, as Julian um, has written it and, um, and the writers are very good at picking up on, 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 on how it all develops and um, so it's, it's not just us, it's also it's, it's, it's these guys down here, the, the, the writer's team on Merlin, too. Il a souvent été dit que les origines de Merlin se trouvent dans la série Smallville. Est-ce que ça ferait pas du coup de Morgan le Lex Luthor de Merlin? No way, I have much better hair, thank you very much. I think that's a, that's a good answer. Th no, we do owe a debt to Smallville. Um, we wanted to do... Uh, Merlin in a, in a different way. We wanted to start them as younger characters. Um, and then from there, the, uh, the stories that we've told are very different from Smallville, but uh, we do start in the same place. And uh, I do enjoy Smallville. Est-ce que vous restez proche de votre vision originelle alors que vous êtes en train de tourner déjà la, la quatrième année? I think we had uh, a, a clear idea of where we wanted to take the show, but uh, you... Um, you look at things that happen, you look at the, the actors and, and what they brought to the show, and suddenly it, it, uh, it begins to grow, it, it takes on another dimension. So uh, our arc for the show has remained the same, but many of the things that have happened have been influenced by the various people that have been involved, as I say, the cast, but also some very good directors and some other very good uh, writers. Katie, est-ce que vous avez parfois l'impression d'interpréter un personnage tout à fait nouveau Actually, Julian put it very, very well this morning when, you know, to be honest, for about the first two or three seasons, looking back now, it kind of feels like Morgana was playing a role. She was playing a part. She was being who she thought she had to be. And now, once we sort of got into season three and season four, it feels like she's really being who she's meant to be and who she always should have been. So, I kind of feel like bad Morgana is good Morgana. Est-ce que ces, ces évolutions, ces changements et le fait que la série devienne un peu plus sombre a changé la façon dont vous travaillez tous ensemble Yeah, I seem to be on my own all the time now. Nobody wants to play with Morgana. It's really quite sad, actually. I'm an outcast. 
Non, 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 Well, the the dynamic changes um, massively whenever whenever Morgana's um, powers start start going towards the dark side, particularly for 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 Merlin. Um, he, he desperately wants to see her change. He wants to see her take the good path in the right life, and um, and she's not. And so his his. So you say. Yeah, <laughs> but his his relationship. With her is 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 um, is either going to be one that he can really help on, or one that he's going to really have to end pretty soon, um, and uh, and that's and that's a big decisions that he has to go through in in season three, and um, and very definitely and very actively going into season four. Les aventures de Merlin, c'est aussi un très beau parcours initiatique, à la fois pour Merlin et pour Arthur. Que pourriez-vous dire de, vo de, vo de votre relation, par exemple, avec Anthony Head? Euh, de comédien à comédien avez-vous appris beaucoup de lui depuis le début est-ce que vous arrivez à vous émanciper un peu de la figure de père qu'il a à la fois dans l'histoire et peut-être même sur le tournage you learn so much from, from all the guests that come in and then alongside that you have Richard uh, Wilson and Anthony Head who are you know there most of the time and you're constantly learning from them and as an actor that's great because they're they're really experienced and they're full of you know wise wise words uh, should you need them so um, it's been it's been a pleasure to have Richard and Anthony to yeah to learn from Colin bien sûr vous êtes l'enchanteur de l'histoire uh, vous avez de plus en plus de pouvoir magique en tant que comédien comment est-ce que vous comment vous dealez en fait avec les effets spéciaux et tout ce tout ce côté un petit peu plus uh, extravagant a very active imagination is um is is the answer i guess you um yeah? you have to come across Probably. see so much stuff in your head and um oh, and you can you can make it be whatever you want it to be um um you, you think i'm crazy if i told you half the stuff i imagine whenever i'm looking at stuff um so i'm not going to that but uh but yeah it's just a you know active imagination and and um i'm putting a hundred percent into it and and uh and believe it yourself. I mean, you can't expect an audience to believe it if you, if you don't make it believable for yourself. Nous le disions en introduction, c'est une série qui mélange un peu tous les genres. Euh, bien sûr, la fantasy, l'aventure, beaucoup d'humour. Euh, je vais poser euh, la même question à l'ensemble de nos invités, à savoir quel aspect de la série ils préfèrent interpréter ou écrire, dans le cas de, de, de Julian. Et après ça, je vous proposerai de poser vous-même quelques questions à nos invités et je dis ça comme ça en passant, je vous conseille d'avoir le courage de le faire. I have no comedy timing, none. So comedy scenes are really difficult for me and I would rather I didn't have to do them because I always end up making a fool. So um, that would be for me, yeah. The uh, thing that attracted me to acting and, and one of the uh, benefits of doing this show is Uh, variety and the great thing about playing the part of Arthur is you get a lot of variety within within the role you, you have the comedy you have the action you have the you know the intense sort of dramatic scenes and and quite a bit else and uh, it really makes um, the part very satisfying to play when you when you've got all that to, to mess around with because it's it is the variety that uh, keeps it interesting Um, I, th I think I think getting the chance to do it at all is is um, is is really you know each day is a, is a privilege to do it and um, and yeah you, I find myself on set sometimes just before a take and they you know they clap the clapper board Merlin take one you're standing there going wow I'm actually doing this and um, and that's yeah it's I mean that's a general thing I think just just feeling very lucky to be to be involved. Donc les mêmes questions pour Julien. Euh, J'aime écrivain Merlin. C'est le meilleur pour moi. Hi, I just want to say thank you for making me believe in magic again. I'm 20. Where are you from? So, and I still believe in magic, yeah. Um, my question is, do you think we can ever have an Eldor moment again when all four, Gwen, Morgana, Arthur and Merlin, 
all work together again to fight some kind of enemy because I just love it when there are all four of them together and it's just all nice. So please, Julian, give us some more nice moments. Where are you from? <laughs> Liverpool, but I live here. I'm here all alone. All right, okay. So the high. chances of having all four of us together in a nice, happy family way by the end of season three, probably not so good. Alors, avant de passer à la question suivante, j'ai demandé à la jeune fille qui vient de poser la première question de s'avancer vers nous, s'il vous plaît. Venez, 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 venez. Je crois que Colin a quelque chose pour vous. Ça va Pour avoir été la première, on remercie votre... Non, juste là. Voici le script de l'épisode pilote, le tout premier épisode, signé par vos invités. Bonjour à tous. J'aimerais euh, savoir, en fait, pour chacun des acteurs, quelle a été la scène la plus difficile pour eux à tourner. First scene of season three, uh, when Bradley and me are on horses um, coming over a place in Wales called the Brecon Beacons, and it was absolutely freezing. It was, it was, I couldn't speak. Um, I, I was, my face was numb. Uh, the, dir the director, um, Uh, came up to me after a take and said, Colin, can you, um, can you say the line a bit clearer? And I was like, I can't talk. And I was like, I can't, uh, we were holding hot water bottles to our faces. It was, um, it was just difficult to be there. Um, but yeah, we, we sort of strove through it. But that, that, that sticks out in my mind. The most difficult scene for me was the scene where Merlin poisons me at the end of season two. Um, and it wasn't because it was cold or, or anything else like that. It was just really horrible. <laughs> I made Colin cry. And then he made me cry. It was just... No, I mean, in all honesty, actually, it was really difficult. And it took about three or four hours. And I actually don't remember much from it because it was just intense emotion for that entire period of time. And it was, I was so drained and completely distraught after it. And I never want to do it again. <laughs> Uh, anytime you see um, a scene that we've shot in like a banquet hall and there's lots of people and we're eating a banquet, the scene probably lasts about 20 seconds or something. It feels like we film it for about two months. It takes forever uh, to film banquet scenes for whatever reason. Those are the most difficult to, uh, to film. Je trouve que euh, la série à l'heure du tout numérique est tournée quand même en pellicule, en 16 mm, et que la saison 4 euh, est en train de se tourner en 35 mm, c'est-à-dire comme au cinéma. J'aurais juste voulu qu'on en parle un petit peu parce que ça participe pleinement à l'ambiance générale de la série. Et après, promis, je rends le micro. Yes. Oui. I think our intention is always to make it more filmic and uh, um, everything, the music, uh, the lighting, it's, it's all important and anything that we can do to give the audience that experience, we'll, we'll try to do. Merci d'être venu. Une ovation pour nos invités. Julian Jones, Katie McGrath, Bradley James, Colin Morgan.